I thought this was going to be about matadors. Boy, was I pleasantly surprised. Welcome to The Daily Needs, a daily look at classic films, modern cinema, and the world of professional wrestling. And today we're talking about the 1980 film Raging Bull, a story, a real-life story of Jake LaMotta, former uh, middleweight boxing champ, uh, played splendidly by Robert De Niro, uh, directed by Martin Scorsese. Um, this is one that had a lot of hype for me going in, um, both as a great movie story-wise and as a great movie um, like filmmaking-wise. Um, and I've heard a lot of things about this one. I hadn't seen it yet, so I was kind of looking forward to it. And it, it hit the. It was right on the edge of too much hype for me. It was a great movie. It really was, but it didn't speak to me the same way that other quick great movies have. Um, as long as I say about the movie itself, I can't think of any flaws. I'm trying to think of what's wrong with it that it didn't like resonate with me as much. But there's nothing it's really. Not an abusive jerk. Because I'm not an abusive jerk, my fiance says, um, and maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's that I'm not like super into boxing, which is weird because like the boxing bits of this were my favorite part. I really liked how they they shot all the fights, really cool shots. Um, and I liked the filmmaking of it. I liked that it was this crazy mix of like this emotional family drama and a sports movie and a biopic and like all of this kind of like blended into one um, with these great scenes of boxing, just violent, violent boxing and even the occasional color like home movies thrown in there. Like I loved that. I liked the the different style this film was compared to other movies that came out in the same time frame. Um, I really liked it. It's just like the story, it just didn't, I don't, I don't know why it didn't resonate with me. It, I'm making it sound like I didn't like the movie, but I did. I liked it. It just wasn't like, like jaw dropping, changed the world for me. Um, all the performances are great. De Niro's amazing. Joe Pesci is the best. I love him and everything he's in. He's so entertaining. And he's great in this, every scene he's in, shines. Um, I like the look of the movie, and I think I read somewhere, I might be making this up, so don't quote me on it, but I think I read somewhere that they actually used film stock that they would have used in the time that it was taking place, so the fights in the 40s are going to look a little different than the fights in the 60s, because different film stock. I read that somewhere, it might be wrong, I might be misquoting something. But it seemed like it to me, it seemed like it was shot in the 40s. Even the way the credits were built at the end looked like something out of, uh, you'd see the beginning of a movie from the 30s or 40s. And I liked that. I liked the style of it. It's just as, as a story, not as much. Which is strange, because it's a true story and it's very real and, and well told. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm mixed about it, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, I guess it's because I'm not abusive. As my fiance does. I have to sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. That was gross. Um, but yeah, I don't have too many thoughts on Raging Bull. It was good. Not my favorite, but it was good. Um, tomorrow I'm going to look at a, a western called Red River. Um, which, cool. Yay. I'm starting to enjoy westerns more now than I did you know, five years ago. Um, but until tomorrow, like, share, subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Explain to me what I missed about this movie. Because it must have been something. Um, follow me on Twitter at Daily Neats. And until tomorrow, bye.